Well, congrats, Manny, on the win. How good does it feel to, get, to finally get that debut win here in the, in the UFC? It's amazing, man. Uh, going with Albert, you know, that was, that was a pretty rough first fight, but I got I got the win. Uh, you know, I don't, think, I don't think I showed off all, all the skills I have, but uh, just to get that victory, get that, you know, that finish, I think is going to be huge in the eyes of everyone in the UFC. Uh, hopefully, you know, I showed you guys a, a little piece of what I can bring to the table. A lot of guys talk about the nerves, they get the jitters, you know, coming out there. I mean, I'm sure you played that walkout in your head lots of times, but yeah. how did it actually yeah. uh, play out when you actually had hey, to walk so, out there? So, so if I look nervous out there, that's not even one one hundredth of what I actually felt like in there, you know, of, of how nervous I got. But, um, you know, it, it's a part of the game. I knew that coming in. I knew that during the fight. Uh, it, I knew, I think I ran into a little bit of adversity in that first round, but... Um, you know, it doesn't, doesn't matter when you're in there. Nobody's gonna have, nobody's gonna take it easy on you just because you're nervous. So, you know, I, I just kept going through it. And it was easy to tell that submissions had to be a big part of the the game plan, trying yeah, to work the game yeah. down. But before we talk a little bit about the submissions, what was the game plan for him coming in tonight? Uh, just to come in hard. You know, uh, it's it's tough to say exactly what somebody's gonna do. We thought I'd be able to pressure him and then take him down and just, you know, kind of do the same thing. But uh, he adjusted well. He had a pretty strong game plan to it. I didn't think he was going to be the kind of guy to to plan plan out fights, really. I thought he just came in and just kind of won it. So uh, I wasn't really worried about him defending anything too hard. But, you know, the second we came in here, it, it was pretty clear and apparent that he did his homework, too. You know, he was pretty good at defending the triangle. He was good at eating, stopping chokes. But uh, eventually you throw enough stuff at him and something's going to stick. And, you know, the, the guillotine stuck in the second round. So proud to proud of that <laughs> if you could walk walk us through that guillotine how you set that up and how you how you that <clears throat> yeah I, sh I shot him first bringing him low she came up high and you know it's a old school basic guillotine setup so not nothing fancy about it um I just turned it over with my with my forearm gave him no place to go and that, that was it did he surprise you with anything particularly i mean was it just his, <laughs> it seemed like he was getting out of some of the submission attempts yeah, pretty pretty yeah. Uh, that he did pretty well, but yeah. uh, did he surprise you with that? Uh, no, no. I knew this was going to be a different level stepping in here, and he just he just affirmed it. You know, I, I was a little bit hoping that it wasn't going to be just to you know make an easier fight for myself. But it, you know, he, he he did his job, and I did mine. So, well, looking in, in in your past history, you know, it's submission, 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 submission. Yeah. In your head. I mean, obviously, submission is a very strong thing, but a lot of people equate it to like chess. Are you able to see that far ahead and moves ahead? Because we were watching the transitions that you were doing from one submission to a mm -hmm. different one. Is it constant in your head? Is there like a Rolodex of, of I'm, moves I'm, that you're always going into? I'm just thinking of finishing. I'm thinking of what's the easiest way to put him out. And, uh, you know, like I said, eventually you're going to find the right one. Um, I don't know, maybe I'm lazy or something, but uh, I, I just try to get it done as fast as I can. So. I, I, I do plan ahead, but I plan ahead hoping that the one I have right now in the moment is the one that's going to finish him. And I know it, it, the fight just happened. You probably haven't much time to, to go back and look at it, but are there yeah. things that you saw in it that you really want to look at and, and maybe found that yeah. uh, these are areas you need to focus yeah, on? Yeah, yeah, that's one of my comfort. I just want to get comfortable in there. I'm still young. I still have so much to learn. Uh, you, know, this is, you know, to be at the UFC at 23 and have an undefeated record like I do, it, I, I never thought I'd be here, but... Here I am. And I know a couple times it, it looked like you almost maybe, unfortunately, maybe telegraphed the takedown. Yeah. I think some people yeah. might look and say, oh, he doesn't want to yeah. stand. He doesn't want to trade yeah. Yeah. hands. But you have the TKO on your record as mm -hmm. well. So, yeah. Yeah. I mean, would people be remiss if they're only thinking that you're a one-trick pony? Like I said, it's all about getting the fast finishes. I think that's the easiest way to finish people. So, uh, you know, I just go for it. I, I, obviously, I, you know, I have... I think 18 total fights on my record. I've been fighting for 10 years. I, I can throw a punch, <laughs> you know. So it's just, like I guess it's the easiest way to finish people. So you feel you probably have the best mission skills, or one of the best mission skills in the the division. I mean, if, I'm, I really haven't done my homework, but if somebody has a, a record like I do, then you know, then clearly, clearly they do. Somebody else has the same skills that I do, but I haven't really seen one to this day. Uh, it's just not something I'm aware of. Well, cool. You started the year off great. How busy are you hoping to uh, to be in 2018, and, and when do you want to get back in there? Uh, no, not, not too sure yet. I want to go home, think about it a little bit, and then hope to get back to the gym, take it easy, because, you know, th this first month of the year has been a, a lot of things happening at once, and so I want to just, you know, sit back a little bit, figure out where I'm going next, and then go for it. How do you celebrate your UFC debut win? Food. Buffet right over there. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, and then after this buffet, I'll have another buffet, and then <laughs> a couple fast food places, but, uh, you know, all, all the usual stuff.